Thanks for logging on to Wayne.com for another edition of Inside the Zone. Semi State is here, and we've got three teams still alive in our area, and we are going to start with 5A. And Tom, a huge matchup. In fact, a rematch from earlier in the season, week four, Snyder at Penn, same location, but that one was 31 13 Penn. I feel like it's going to be a lot closer ball game. I, I think it will be a lot closer ball game. I was actually up in Mishawaka at that game and covered that game, and, and Penn dominated the offensive and defensive lines. They outran Snyder 216 to 52 yards overall. Uh, they just crushed uh, Snyder in that, that game. But that was a long time ago. It was September 9th, and Snyder is a vastly different team, not only from September 9th, but really from October 9th, they're a vastly different team. They are running the ball so well right now. John Nelson is almost unstoppable. Uh, he needs 172 yards to set the Snyder uh, school record for single season rushing yards and, and knock off Vaughn Dunbar, who was an okay running back. Yeah, he back. was okay. He had a nice little NFL yeah, career. Yeah, he, he wasn't half bad. But uh, Snyder's, uh, their offensive line right now is playing so well, and their defensive line is too, but their offensive line is really creating great holes for John Nelson, who's seeing the field really, really well right now. Uh, Snyder's going to have to run the ball, obviously, much better against Penn than they did the first time, and they will. This will be a much closer game than it was the first time, and the weather is supposed to be 46 degrees and, and not a cloud in the sky, so that's not really going to be a factor, and you get John Nelson on that field turf, a pen, his speed is going to be able to be an asset for him. So I think this will be a uh, ultimately will be a pretty close game. You bust, you busted out a Von Dunbar reference on yes. me. Yes, I appreciate that. Well, as far as uh, Snyder goes, isn't one of the big keys to get off to a good start because. Uh, they didn't do it against Penn the last time they played, and they did it against Hamilton Southeastern. I mean, they scored the first two touchdowns on Friday night, and that kind of set the tempo because then when they got punched in the mouth in the second quarter, they were already right there. Right. Yes, it does help, to, especially a team that wants to run the ball as much as Snyder. If you fall behind, obviously you have to start throwing the ball to try to play catch up. And, and so if you are ahead, then you want to do just the opposite, run the ball and keep that clock ticking. So, yeah, obviously it helps if you can get off to a nice start against Penn and not fall behind. But falling behind early against Penn in September was one of 38 problems they had that night. So uh, that wasn't an overriding factor, but it just didn't help. But yeah, your point is well taken. You've got to run the ball uh, effectively and try to keep Penn from off the board so that you can control the pace of the game. Now, we saw some pretty good defense last week, especially in the yeah. passing game. I know Hamilton Southeastern did not have their starting quarterback. He got injured, broke his leg in the Fishers game. Uh, but the Snyder defense is holding up pretty strong as well. You take away the touchdown pass to Gary Harris, which was an amazing touchdown pass to end the second quarter, and uh, they pretty much bottled up that team. Yes, they did. The, the Snyder defense, the, you know, you read in the paper every Saturday about how many yards John Nelson had and, and how great he was, but the, the Snyder defense really is a big factor in this and keeping the other team out of the end zone. The, the second half against Kokomo, I mean, they gave up over 200 yards rushing to Armand Bridgeforth in the first half. They made a Adjustments at halftime in the second half, they just shut down Kokomo. Real quick, you're picking this one. I'm going to go with Penn in a close match. I, I just think the home field advantage, the field turf, uh, the balanced offense, uh, Penn has too many weapons, and so I think Penn can get it done, but I wouldn't be surprised if Snyder uh, somehow shocked him.